Hello there ladies and gentlemen, Sigval here and welcome back to another video. So in this one I'm gonna try to show you my uh, top 6 uh, free-to-play teams on my main account. And by free-to-play I mean we're not gonna use any artifacts that you are not guaranteed to get. Because, I mean, everybody might drop a beta club for example from Soray drops or League Invasions, but it's very unlikely you will do so. So we're only gonna use the artifacts you guaranteed to get for completing the tier 5 of a Soul Raid. Then we're gonna open with Zetana with God Killer at level 10, Classic Wonder with God Killer at level 10, and Mr. Freeze with Puppet at level 10. So let's get this going against Taco Man. And yeah, I could. This is probably the only team that will not one shot here. Because my Mr. Freeze needs to be a bit stronger, just a tiny bit stronger to one shot. And uh, I could just use Manta here to, to kill Aquaman, but that's kind of cheating because it doesn't usually apply unless we have uh, an Aquaman opponent and we go, don't get that Manta triple effectiveness passive. So we're not doing that. We're going to open with this team. This is probably not going to do 2 billion damage, but as far as. Uh, I accounted for things, other than that we're gonna have 5 one-shots, easily. And this might get close, or not that close. Depends on how lucky we get with these Zatanna at the start. Because she might power steal, she might not power steal, she might give me free specials, she might not. Over here she power still, which is great, but no free special. Okay, no free special again, but at least the power steal. No free special again, but hey, it's just power stealing at least. Could be worse. Again, no free special. Oh boy, this is quite unlucky actually. Also would love a free terror special to get some percentage all damage. But nope, we're just not getting them. But every single special... Power still at least, so we got that 300% damage buff relatively fast. Okay, got frozen. Now let's try to activate puppets. Okay, that's active, and we lost it because uh, one of these special two hazards just expired. Okay, now we should keep it. Let's just spam this a bit. Let's do super move. That's all. Oh, I don't have mana because I don't have energy because I just used um, it's a free super move. My bad there, but we might want to tag the Tana in for some of the percentage shell damage. But yeah, this is going terribly. Like compared to how generally speaking this fight goes, this is quite unlucky because of these Tana. So I guess something I could have done at the start of the fight is just. Um, Used a random special of Mr. Freeze to apply the burning and then tag the Tana to have that guaranteed percentage all damage at the start of the fights. But yeah, my bad with this one. We're off to a terrible start, but I promise the rest of the teams will do a lot better. And yeah, I probably should just start using Deathstroke here. Because Deathstroke kind of guarantees that percentage shell damage, even though we don't get the damage buff, and guarantees the fast stacking of Mr. Freeze passive. Because in order to stack the Mr. Freeze passive, we kind of need to get uh, some specials done. And those need to cost power. So after we activate puppets, we're no longer really going to get some any further stack for the Mr. Freeze passive. But yeah, this. This did not go well. It usually goes a lot better than this, I promise. This fight's based on luck. It can be anywhere between 1.1 billion damage, which I think is what we got here, and 1.6, 1.7 billion. But yeah, this is my weakest team that kind of kind of struggles to one shot. And to be fair, considering we only did 1.1 billion. I probably could have just used uh, some bad ninja characters with Puppet, because this is what I expect from Lord Joker with Puppet, or from Batman Ninja Batman with Puppet. So if you don't have Mr. Freeze, you can just replace this team with Puppet Batman Ninja team. Like, this is the bottom of the barrel team, and it probably Batman Ninja with Puppet will do just fine for you, because we're not going to use 
any Batman Ninja teams going forward. So Batman Ninja team is available, you can feel free to use it instead of Mr. Freeze. Okay, so here we have uh, the Mortal Kombat team and I think I'm gonna take this video from the weakest team to the strongest team because this is my second weakest team and depending on the story, right, those guys might not do as much damage because the thing is you have to have Dark Metal cards on Raiden and you have to have um, Gut Care on Scorpion and uh, thankfully now Gut Care gives him passive stats but if we move to a raid where that uh, is no longer the case, my damage will probably decrease to something like 1.4 billion damage on a good fight. Over here we do 2 billion damage on a good fight. Bro, how did he back off while, while I was hitting here? Like, what was that? Okay, super move. And this thing can be quite annoying sometimes. Because it, it can be pretty unreliable in terms of the enemy jumping out of your combos. So it really depends on how much luck you get with the enemy being a bit chill in the fight. But generally speaking, unless the enemy is crazy annoying, you're, you're going to be able to do pretty well here. Slap down. There we go. He jumps. That's something that can sometimes happen. It's not the biggest deal because you're usually going to keep him at no power so him jumping is not gonna make him do a special and he's also got block disabled so he's not gonna be able to block after he jumps it's just gonna be annoying and lose you some damage but it's not that terrible if you didn't block disable him if you couldn't block disable him that's why we have to do god killer this would would, would be terrible it would be a terrible experience if he had block you're also always gonna power drain because of Raiden, so that doesn't depend on the artifact at all. But yeah, that's why you need the block disable. So you can also do the swipe down combo with Raiden. Again, I can generally speaking personally combo and chop pretty easily with Raiden. But doing that might make the enemy jump out of the hazard more. Like everything we're doing here in this type of gameplay that we're doing here is all made to mitigate the enemy jumping out of the scorpion hazard because that is sadly something that happens way too often I'm a bad there could have done one more combo with my boy Raiden But it's fine. We're gonna we're gonna finish this with quite a lot of time left, actually. And you can get this thing going with just a no gear scorpion, pretty much with a three stars. This is gonna be very efficient, even at that point. But yeah, that's two billion. This is my second weakest team for the most part. We got League of Arcade here with Dark Metal cards on Harley at level 10 and we got two God Killers here on both of these characters. This team is very flexible in terms of what specific characters you can use. Oh, no, we're not gonna use it against Taco Man because he's got still some health. Let's, let's do it against this man. This guy's got Berserk, we should be fine. Yeah, we're looking for a full health fight. Uh, but yeah, this thing is pretty flexible in terms of what characters you can put here. You just need Entangling Poison Ivy. That's the only required character in this team. You can pair her up with Zatanna with Puppet and you put Dark Metal cards on her. You can even use Joker as the damage dealer. You can, you can do whatever, man. As long as you get EPI and you are able to find a way to increase uh, their, their uh, damage somehow. Either through Zatanna or through Girl of Steel Supergirl. You can even do a Predator Batman with Puppet as a stun setup. There, the, the options for this team are honestly limitless. Just need to figure out whatever you have available and how you can put that together to kill the enemy. Okay, that's... Oh, that didn't do that much damage, though. To be fair, we're reducing his attack with God Killer. But for a boss with Berserk, that was, that was relatively weak. Gonna keep doing special kills with Harley. Pushing him to the corner a bit.
I personally kind of prefer the special two on uh, Girl of Steel Supergirl because I feel like I stack the damage buff a bit faster, but at the same time, the special one is a bit more convenient in terms of the combo you're doing. Okay, we're at max damage buff. And this team is gonna out damage stuff by a lot. Uh, with this team, I'm not necessarily sure about the placement as the fourth strongest team because it's... Oh, my bad. It's okay, though. It comes real close with the next one we're gonna use, which is gonna be Raven plus whatever. But we're gonna get into that in a second. But the League of Arc and the Raven plus whatever are pretty close depending on what you use specifically with Raven. But yeah, let's get to that. Okay, so here I'm gonna use Raven for the sake of the fact that it's more relatable. I'm gonna use King with Raven because it's more relatable for you guys. I mean, this is a pretty goddamn strong King because I got my boy Max Ascended. Though, we're gonna over damage this by a lot. It shouldn't matter that much. We got the level 9 Twin Blade here. We got Raven with God Killer. And I guess we got Dr. Fates. Yeah, this thing is kind of on the same level of strength with the League of Arky. It kind of requires a convenient fight or you can combo and drop then the possibilities yet again to use with Raven here are more or less endless. You can do Raiden if you're not using him in the um, Moral Combat team. I personally use Constantine with Swamp Thing with Raven usually because I do like that team very much. You can also do Blue Beetle, you can do Manta, you, you can do a lot of things. Basically, all you need is Raven plus something that has a bit of an additional damage modifier and that combined with Twin Blade and the Raven Darkness is gonna be more than enough to kill people. You can just do actually Brainiac plus Raven and you get Raven to be the damage dealer with Twin Blades and you get her the lethal damage from Brainiac. And of course, if you're on the pay to inside of things, you can use Raven plus King with Beta Club or whatever you want to do. But generally speaking, there's going to be a Raven theme. And that can be with Twin Blade, that can be even with Sir Banshee Puppets. I also like that theme very much, Raven plus Sir Banshee with Puppets. But uh, that one is a bit weaker than King with Twin Blade plus Raven. Like... Let's be honest here, with that I'm kind of struggling to get the 2 billion damage and I'm usually getting it in the last few seconds with this one. We're not even maxing that King passive, I think, until this man dies, or we might actually. Yeah, we might with the special. Yeah, 1 minute and 30 seconds left. This is crazy strong and... I mean, I guess my King is also crazy strong, but that's... that's... that's irrelevant. Okay, so my second strongest team is going to be Beast Boy with Puppets. <clears throat> and you don't need to do the team I'm doing here. Like, this is kind of the most optimal team for him on my main account without taking other important resources like a classic Wonderman. But you have plenty of options. You, to an extent, like, Gears are definitely going to help on Beast Boy. And you're definitely going to do more damage with Beast Boy if you have Gears. But you don't even need the Gears necessarily. It's still going to do very high amounts of damage. Actually, I have... Quite a few videos doing 2 billion damage with a gearless beast boy. And Manta is gonna help with the instant activation of Puppet, but you can do the same thing with um, Vixen with God Care equipped, because it's still 2 negative effects plus a beast boy special being uh, enough negative effects. You can do the same with a legendary Black Adam. Just need to get Puppet going, uh, after that it's kind of over for the enemy. But yeah, this is gonna deal a lot more damage and a lot faster than the team that I'm gonna show you next. But the reason why I'm putting this in the second spot is that this team is just a little bit less flexible, especially against crit resistance, because Beast Boy can be used with Dark Metal cards, but it's not really that great or that convenient. Uh, but the next team I'm going to show you, it's a team that is going to be a bit weaker than Beast Boy in terms of the damage they are able to deal. But it's going to be so versatile that you can literally use it against every single fight in the game. 
Actually, I think with the most recent soul raids, there might be some bosses that have immunity to hazard dots. So unless the enemy is immune to hazard dots, you're, you're, you're going to be fine with the next team. And for the last fight, and what I consider to be my strongest team is going to be God Killer Batman the Drowned. God Killer on this man as well. We're going to have Puppet on Robin King. So yeah, let's get this going. Again, this is going to be a team that you can use in 99.99% of the fights in the game and deep bypasses dot resistance and dot immunity because they deal hazard dot and that's a different type of damage they bypass crit resistance because robin king does that and on top of everything else they are gonna have the safest gameplay in the game i mean beast boy too if you're gonna start spamming puppet anything that starts spamming puppets is probably not gonna get you killed you probably have zero percent chance to get killed in those situations either but this is gonna be also very safe because we reduced her attack and we're gonna Start hitting her with Robin King, who's gonna start applying puppets, is gonna apply specials disabled, is gonna apply blind. We do apply specials disabled because we have Robin King here first, just from activating the um, Batroom and the Drowns passive, entering Crisis Energy. And yeah, this might actually be quite on par with Beast Point in terms of damage. I might have underestimated them, but. They actually kind of are clearing this as fast as Beast Boy is, but what you need to understand is that yet again they benefit from having um, double passive stats here, because Batman the Drown usually goes with God Killer anyway. But even if she didn't go with God Killer and they had only one passive stat artifact, this would have taken two minutes instead of one. But you know what, we'll do it. with all that being said, those are my uh, top six free to play teams currently on the uh, main account. Thanks so much for watching, like the video if you liked it, dislike if you disliked it, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye!